G'day, I am Alistair Christie and in this video we're going to look at preserving state in a Datasnap REST server. Um, I'm producing this video because this is a problem I had. Uh, I've got an Android application which has a uh, REST server backend written in Delphi and um, I needed to, uh, you know, well basically preserve state um, between uh, within, within a session. So uh, special thanks to Matt DeLong at Embarcadero for uh, pointing me towards the uh, appropriate bits and pieces I needed to know. And um, so uh, I hope you find this video uh, useful and hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So let's start by creating a new Datasnap REST application. And let's we'll go through and select uh, all defaults. And here we've got our new server, and if we run it, we can have a look at the server functions, and we've got two methods, echo string and reverse string, uh, which, which works, uh, and they correspond to our echo string and reverse string here. So I'm just going to uh, briefly um, so our default action uh, I might just change that to rather than saying reverse string content use our server function invoker So when we run that, we get this page by default. I'll save us a bit of clicking uh, in the rest of the video. Okay, so if we go to uh, server methods one, uh, we're going to want to add a, a function which um, we need, which needs state preserved. So I'm just going to add a function get string, which returns a string, and a procedure put string which takes a string as a parameter. And we'll just have a private a private uh, field called f string. So control shift C to uh, create the uh, class methods. And the result of this is going to be f string. And And let's also just add a constructor. If string assigned empty. Okay, so when we run that, open the browser, we've got put string, and it's saved fine. And when we go get string, we get empty, which is our um, blank, you know, our, our initialized, um, what we initialize our string to. So let's let's put a breakpoint in there. And we go get string, and the constructor is called. And put string, and the constructor is called. So it's creating a new instance of our t, t server methods one for each method invocation. Now. If we uh, have a look at our web module and our server class, we'll see that the lifecycle is set to session, uh, which is would kind of expect uh, to preserve our, our class. If I set it to server and go open in browser, this will actually work. Um, and it returns. But of course, if someone else, uh, if lots of people are doing it, then um, who knows what, what value you'll, you'll get back, whoever, um, whoever uh, executed the, the put string last. Um, anyhow, so um, what's going on? Basically, um, the life cycle for, on a REST server uh, for session behaves the same as invocation. Um, so, uh, how do we get around this? Well, there's a, a nice post by 
Matt DeLong, um, we're uh, showing us how we can get the, um, the, the the session, the actual session stored for the current thread. So just copy that code and go to our server methods and in put string we want to uh, run that and just try and get control shift A on that which uh, tells us what unit we need and control shift V to create a session and um, what we're going to do Put data um, my string value s and I'm just going to be lazy. Oops, not reverse string. Uh, get string. Okay, so let's uh, run that. And we did put string. Yay. Executed fine. And we get our yay back. Uh, all good. Now, we also might want to store uh, complicated objects in our session manager, or now uh, for our session. So um, uh, let's have a look at that next. So let's uh, refactor this slightly uh, and make this pop string. string and um, we need a so we're obviously going to do a stack so uh, we want um, dot system generics collections okay so let's uh, I'm not using that anymore oh, so Is a um, and actually let's check that there. Okay, so what we'll do is in our constructor. Factoring pop string didn't work very well. Okay, um, so we need to uh, let's grab all that bit. Get object um, stack, but has object um, oh, actually, why not? If not um, dot put object create. Okay. Um, and now we just implement our push and pop, which uh, becomes pretty trivial. Dot pop. And Okay, 
so uh, nice and trivial. And let's run that. And what have I done wrong? Put object. Ah. Gently, rather than doing a hard cast. Okay. One, two, three, and pop, we get three, two, one, and an exception. So, uh, if we wanted to avoid that, of course, we could just. Uh, um, something like that. And now we do an, a pop on an empty. We get a blank string if uh, that was what we wanted. Well, that was pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, so that's uh, uh, preserving state or accessing the, the session variable in a data snap rest server. Um, I hope you found it useful.